So this demo shows how we can use vector search in 23AI and a technique called RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation to augment the knowledge of the OpenAI LLM with blog posts from Apex developer blogs. The goal is to reduce hallucinations and improve the quality of responses we get from AI. So let's get started. So this page is where we ask our question. So I'm going to ask, is Apex a good platform for extending Fusion? And it's looking at a time frame of two years. So it's looking at blog posts in Apex developer blogs for the past two years. So I hit enter, and now it's performing a couple of tasks. The first is to simplify the question by doing query reduction, and then sending that simplified question and performing a vector search in the local 23AI database. It's then retrieving 10 chunks of those blog posts that are relevant to the search and sending those 10 chunks to OpenAI along with a prompt. So you can see we have a response back with a summary of why Apex is a good platform for extending Fusion. And you can also see that it's included references. Um, so where it's used blog posts as part of its data source, it's referenced those blog posts with links to those blog posts at the end. And you can read the full blog post to see how all that is done. We can also see that we have some parameters here, so I can select which ChatGPT model I want to use, uh, the temperature for that model, which model I want to use for the query, query reduction. And query reduction is taking that initial user query and simplifying it for the purposes of the vector search. So is Apex a good platform for extending Fusion it can be simplified because we don't need the is, we don't need the question part of the question, we just need what we want to search for then we can use the original question to send to ChatGPT with the chunks. I can also specify the, the temperature of the query reduction query, um, specify the number of chunks I want the vector search to return so that I only send that number of chunks to OpenAI, and the maximum number of bytes in those chunks. So if I wanted to limit, essentially limit the number of tokens that are being used. So when we generated this query, behind the scenes, I was populating a table so that we can inspect over time these queries that we're making to OpenAI. So here's the query we just made. Is Apex a good platform for extending Fusion? Here's the simplified term. So after we performed the query, query reduction, which was essentially sending this question to OpenAI and asking it to simplify it for us to be suitable for vector search, this is what OpenAI returned. So this is what we used for the vector search. So then we're showing what model we used for the query reduction, what the temperature was, the model for the main call to OpenAI, and then some timings of each of the steps. So you can see the removing the question. So basically the query reduction piece took just under a second. The vector search took 0.3 of a second. The main query uh, call to the completions API with the, the prompt and the chunks took six seconds. And then we can further inspect this by looking at the complete prompt that we sent. So I built these instructions, basically telling OpenAI that it's an expert in Oracle technology, that I'm going to include some blog posts, and I'm also going to include a reference to each of those blog posts. And that reference in this case is the blog post ID. So then we can look at the actual prompt that I was sent. So I built this prompt. So the instu instructions to the OpenAI, the question from the user, this is the original question, and then the chunks that we sent. Each chunk split by this um, blog post ID enclosed in two hash signs. And then capture the parameters I used, how long each of those times took, the full response, if I want to go back and look at the response, and the actual chunks that the vector search returned. So that simplified search returned these vector chunks, and I sent all of these chunks to OpenAI to answer the question. So having this table allows me to play with different parameters, so I could see how good is the query reduction if I use a different model? How long does it take if I use less chunks? Uh, less bytes of, inf of information in the AI prompt. So when you're experimenting with a new use case for AI, it's really useful to be able to capture this information so you can see 
what difference the difference it makes when you make changes to your parameters. All right, that's it. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.